Game Maker How To Make an Object Follow the Exact Position of the Mouse. A very uh, typical one people ask about is how to do crosshairs. And so you want your target thing to follow the mouse. Um, here's an easy way to do it using objects. And then you could apply it to other objects as well. Uh, you'll see here I have a sprite called Cross. And uh, just for fun, I've given it just two frames. So I have like the regular blue. And this will be when the person actually presses the fire. Image one here. So the second frame of the sprite. All right, let's go figure out how this works. Let's make an object here. I'm going to call this object O cross. Let's give it our sprite of the cross and get the code in it. So in the create event, I'm actually going to tell this animated image not to animate and just to sit on the blue. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say image index. Image index is a built-in game maker variable. It tells you what frame of the animation that you want your sprite to be on. So I'm going to say, hey, sit on frame 0. Frame 0 is actually the first sprite. Counting starts at 0. And then I'm going to tell the image speed, which is another built-in variable in GameMaker, to be 0. So no animation. That's it. Okay, so that's it for create. Now, since keeping... Uh, Following up with the mouse is something that happens constantly. This is perfect for the step event. So let's go into step, which is happening 30 times a second, and step, and let's run some code in here. And our code in our step event is going to be put my X position right on top of the mouse's X position and put my Y value right on top of the mouse Y. Mouse X and mouse Y. If you haven't seen in a few of our other videos, they've talked about these. These are built in. Game Maker's always keeping track of where the mouse is, so it's easy to do this kind of stuff. Now, it's that simple. The X and Y are going to match the mouse's X and the mouse's Y. So let's just see how this looks here. Uh, let's not forget to actually add this object into the room. So let's add our crosshair there. I spent a lot of time drawing that. So don't tell me how bad it looks. And you can see here, you have this. Now I'll show you how to hide the. I'll show you how to hide the actual cursor in a second, so you don't actually see the cursor as well. But you can see there how it does follow, and it works okay. Let's figure out how to hide the cursor. There's actually a little command in Game Maker. Uh, we can do it right when this crosshair starts in its create, and it's called window set cursor and you see here it expects you to give it some information a parameter and I've already uh, half memorized this one it's called uh, basically cursor none and that'll basically just remove your normal cursor so now what you get is you get this so your crosshair is your cursor which is what a lot of people want now let's make this better so that when I press the button, the cursor does a little, uh, sort of a little animation, right? Shows me that I've pressed. So one thing I can do here is, since the cross is always underneath the mouse, it'll very easily react to a mouse left pressed event. And let's write a little bit of code here. When the mouse is pressed... Normally, you would do maybe a little firing. So you could do, um, depends how you have your sound command set up, but I'll do a little sound play S. Let's see, what do I have here for my sounds? Sound. Let's do a little sound cannon. See what that one is. And I want to switch the image to the red uh, frame in my animation. So this would be image index. And I want it to go to the second frame, which is frame 1. Because remember that the first frame was actually frame 0 when you count. So just image index is 1. No need to set speed. The speed is still 0, so it's just going to sit here on this frame. Now the thing is, is maybe in like a, a fraction of a second, I'd like to go back to the normal blue crosshair. To do this, 
you could use an alarm. And so I can go alarm zero. Let's make it pretty fast. So let's say five steps later. Let's say three steps later. Alarm zero is going to fire off. And when this alarm does fire off, alarm zero, I'm just going to send the image index right back to frame zero to our regular blue cursor. Now let's cross our fingers that our crosshair works. And there we go. You'll see as I'm firing. Now I know the sound isn't playing. I actually have a certain uh, sound command set up on this, so we won't actually hear the sound. But it's working, and uh, obviously you do a little better job with the animation and the graphics, and that'll look pretty good. Now this idea works for any object you want to follow the mouse, right? Just use the step event, and that mouse X, and that mouse Y. Remember, that was really the trick right there. Thanks for watching.